My name is David Hewlett. I'm playing a character by the name of Michael Burwell. It's a really fun film, sort of a, almost like a millennial take on the, uh, on the player. This is this guy who's willing to do anything to get into the film industry, and in this case, he really stalks and dates this guy's daughter in the, in the hopes of getting him to read a script. It's a very interesting take on, on the film industry and, and how, you know, the lengths that people will go to to get themselves in there. My lovely wife and producer Jane Lohman, I think best described him as a Hollywood asshole and that I'd be perfect to play him, which was so charming of him. It's always fun playing asshole. Assholes just get to say everything you want to say but are too polite to in the, or too cowardly to say in the real world. I mean, Stargate was the same way. I mean, McKay was this wonderful jerk who could just say all the things you wanted to say. Michael Burwell is, is even more so because he gets to swear as well. So I really, yeah, I really enjoyed it. And also it's just fun playing the grumpy old guy. I don't have to stretch that much for that. Aurelia is beautiful, and they've been like so ridiculously welcoming and helpful in every way. It's like they just, it's like, I feel like we're like their children, and they're, they're like sending us off, go, oh, we're here, what can we get you? You know, we would like a sandwich with that. There's, everyone is just really excited about us shooting up here, and they've been incredibly supportive. <laughs> I think the scene I was most excited about was this, this, the final sort of showdown between all the different members of my family and their respective dates. There's just a wonderful kind of incredibly dysfunctional birthday scene, which I really, really enjoyed because, well, again, because I got to be old and grumpy and, and drunk as well, which is even better. And I got to eat tons and tons of cake. You sure you want to go again? Okay. They go to bed a lot later than I do. I noticed that. I, like, nine o'clock, I was done. Because we were on set and also, like, sleeping there. So at night, we would all, like, hunker down in the living room and watch, like, horror movies. That's cool. I thought that was kind of neat. Arena the Kids is great. I, it, although, I gotta say, it makes me feel really old when I say record player and everyone goes like, what? Well, favorite line, the favorite line is the title line. I get to say, I get to say it's all about who you know. That's a tough one. I mean, I grew up, Doctor Who was my idol. I was, I wanted to be Doctor Who when I grew up. Harold Lloyd, Buster Keaton, uh, Charlie Chaplin, those guys, you know, that was a time when you had to write, direct, produce, uh, star, and then promote your own movies. I really, I really enjoyed, you know, the, I, I, I love that they were able to do that, and I love that technology is beginning to allow us to do that again. I, had the good fortune of uh, of being friends with some film nerds in high school. I was 13 years old, a little guy named Vincenzo Natale came up to me in the playground and said, do you want to be in a movie? And I went, I suppose I might be able to free up some summer for you. He went on to do Splice and Cube, and I've worked with him ever since. My introduction to acting was through filmmaking, basically. So you know, the first professional audition I did, I already knew about hitting my marks and knowing my lines and where to play for camera and lighting and you know and how important the sound is. I, I'm constantly trying to get back to those little indie, you know, run and gun shoots. My secret talent is I have no secret talent. My secret talent, I guess, would be technology. Most people are surprised that I am as big a nerd as I as I was on uh, on uh, Stargate. I I like this little fellow, my little easy robot friend here is. Uh, is my doing. I, I love technology. I love playing with technology and I love uh, working with kids and getting them excited about it. Work with a company called, um, uh, with a charity called Let's Talk Science, which gets kids excited about STEM stuff. And I find it exciting, so it's kind of exciting to get them excited about it. Wow, any advice for Jake having done some writing and directing? Um, I say animation. I'd say for Jake, your best bet is to work in animation or with the little bendy uh, stop motion things because they do exactly what you want them to do and they don't argue. So the film starts with a very long one shot, you know, touch of evil type uh, uh, 
extended shot and uh, I get to talk throughout the entire process. Those things always look very difficult, but the reality is it's one take. So once you've got it, you've got it. Uh, I just thankfully it wasn't the first thing I had to shoot because I think that would probably have screwed it up a lot more than I did. <laughs>